So Coach Jackson, I'm on, you know, three and zero, feeling good, right? right? Four and zero. Four, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, my brain's all over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, first conference road test. Just, just what do you tell the team about this, and how nice was it to have uh, already a road experience this year and get the guys situated? Yeah, you know, it's not it's not a normal one, road experience, uh, but but to be on a different surface in a different area, different atmosphere will help us uh, as we go to Shawan. Um, we just got to be us and prepare the right way like we've been doing. And if we do that, then I think we'll be okay. You know, usually in a conference game, obviously, there's at least some sort of experience, either with the team or with the staff or with somebody. You know, brand new experience, going to a brand new place. Just sort of what is this preparation kind of like when it, there's a whole lot of unknown? Yeah, you just got to gotta be us. Like I said, you, you know, we're going to practice on grass. They're, they're a grass team. And so luckily we have grass to practice on. It's been wet around here. They played home games where it's been raining, so we're getting as close a look uh, to what they've been having for a home atmosphere as we can. But ultimately, it's going to come down to blocking and tackling, and we got to do that in the right way in order to be successful. When you flip on the film, Juwan, just what what really stands out to you? Yeah, they're really big on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Um, they've got a, a really good quarterback. This team has won championships or competed for championships in the past, and so they're new to our league. Their, their record looks. Uh, down right now, but they've got really good athletes on both sides of the ball, uh, and so we've got to be ready to play as though you're playing a Gulf South Conference game like it is, and, and in this conference, there's no easy games. Have you seen the guys kind of keep that mentality, just like, hey, block out the number next to their name, this is a Gulf South team, yeah. this is a team that's completely deserving of our attention? Yeah, I think our kids have went to work the right way. Um, we know, listen, no matter what anybody's record is, when the Blazers show up, people seem to tend to be a little bit better than what they've been on tape, right? Regardless if they were good or not. And so um, we, we've got to continue to, to prepare ourselves the right way and get ready to play as though we're playing the New York Giants. And what would you say um, jumps out at you defensively for a challenge does? I mean, challenge show, show does. Yeah, they, they try to stay pretty balanced. They're a cover three team. Um, for the most part, they try to be symmetrical to match formations and things of that nature. They'll run, they'll hit you, um, they'll talk trash to you. I mean, they're they're a physical defense, and so uh, we got to be ready to, to exceed that physicality. And how do you build on last week's defensive performance, where y'all were able to keep team keep um, North Greenville basically out of the end zone? Yeah, you want to keep them off the scoreboard in general, uh, and that's just us trying to be better week to week, uh, trying to play the, the the calls the right way, execute the right way. Uh, we want to go and play with a level of enthusiasm, uh, still that I don't think we've reached that we have, and so. We got to continue to get better and better on defense, and, and hopefully, uh, we don't allow people to get into the red zone. People talked about the red zone stops. Well, we don't really want people to get into the red zone. So hopefully, we can accomplish that this week. You know, as a defensive-minded guy, to to not let them touch the paint last weekend, just how gratifying was that to see that in, in red and black? Yeah, I mean, it, it was good, and it's always good. Um, but there was three points that got on the board that shouldn't have got on the board, and like you said, as a defensive guy. We're going to always find something to, to get on our guys about to make sure we're being the very best, not just being better. And uh, we won't know what we are until the end of the year. And I tell our guys that all the time. But I definitely like the way that, that our guys are flying around on defense and playing right now. What's your mindset going into this week's game? My mindset going into the week's game? No, I, I got it. Okay, good. My mindset going into this week's game is based on the word of the week consistency. So with that being said, consistency, with my daily schedule, you know, our time management is a big thing. So the way we approach our getting our rest, our recovery, and then attack of practice, being consistent in everything we do and have a high enthusiasm, high energy going into practice, I think that plays a big role in you know, the rest of the week and how Saturday goes in the play. I was wondering how y'all how y'all think y'all match up against Chow Chow Man. Shawan. Shawan. It's never it's never um it's never a question of how we match up versus the opponent because each and every week we challenge ourselves to be the best version of ourselves. So um, essentially, whoever we play is a bunch of nameless opponents that we just go out there and we want to dominate. But it starts with us challenging ourselves and being the best version of ourselves in order to play the game that we play. Just from a film, just preparation standpoint though, is, is it a little weird to play a conference game where literally nobody on staff, nobody has played them before in a red and black, black uniform? Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, it's not because like I said before, as long as we're going out here and we're executing throughout the week and playing our best version of football, then uh, the game on Saturday just comes it comes easy because the hard part is during the week and practice. 
and then on preparation and watching film, as long as we do have film and we have a little bit of knowledge and insight on their team, we get a pretty good idea of who we're facing when we come Saturday. I was going to ask, how do you stay locked in while on the road traveling to the game? You got to stay relaxed. You got to go to your place. You have a place of peace. You know, it is, a lot of guys put on their headphones, put on their earbuds, and watch a little, watch a movie, watch a little show, watch film, whatever it is, watch football. Um, but the biggest thing is just being relaxed and uh, just keeping focused on why you're going. That's a business trip. So it's a 10 hour drive. So it's a key emphasis on, on being focused. And remember, that's a business trip. What it mean to you last week to be able to defensively keep them out of the end zone, 0 for 3 in the red zone, and just other than a field goal, pretty much keep them off the scoreboard the whole game? Man, that was, uh, that was great. That was big. And that. That's not just one or two guys, that's the defense as a collective. So it really goes to show that the work that we've been putting in throughout the week, the work that we've been putting in throughout the spring and the summer, all of this paying off. And the guys that we've gathered here at Valley State, they've, uh, they really brought into the program what we have going on here as a 2-12 defense. So um, it's really, it's really, it really feels good to know that we have a defense that's able to go out there and set out a conference team like that. They're a pretty good team, we'll give it to them. Um, but we was able to go out there and handle business.